Hey all, it's Mr. Broski and I am coming back at you with another v edition of our I Challenge. And today we're going to be covering Unit 2, Lesson 1, Language, Syntax, and Logic. All right, so for this module, uh, what we're going to be doing is go we're going to be covering some various aspects of programming, which is going to be include lang and it's going to include languages, and syntax, and logic. Um, the, and then the subsequent or the final um, product or the final uh, objective we're going to be doing in this module is going to be a Minecraft style Minecraft style gaming environment. So we're going to go ahead and solve some pro puzzles based on a Minecraft environment. Some of our learning goals, uh, you'll, um, are one of the learning goals for y'all after this module, is that you're going to be able to understand how a programmer interacts with a computer through programming structures. Also, hopefully, y'all are going to walk away with better understanding the different types of programming languages out there. Some of our daily outcomes is going to be to be able to use different programming structures, such as sequential selection and repetition statements, um, to implement logic and decision making for a computer program and then also we hopefully you're going to be able to um, tackle <coughs> to be able to identify different programming languages all right some of our, our focus words one of our focus words is going to be syntax so syntax all that is is a written words or symbols that a computer understands and that is included in a programming language a programmer, well, that's pretty straightforward. It's just a person who, who you know, who programs. Um, the person who writes a series of instructions that is uh, understandable for a computer through a computer programming language. All right, so we've got some different structures that a computer programmer can use in order for, <coughs> excuse me, in order for the computer to understand it. One of the structures is sequential structure. And all sequential structure means is that the computer is going to read your code line by line by line by line by line. A selection structure, that's a little bit different. So a selection structure allows a computer to follow a particular path based on a condition that exists. So if we want the computer to ex um, execute X amount of code, um, then it, we're going to tell it, um, you know, based on a condition to go ahead and execute that code. Or it might not execute that code, and that could also be a selection statement, and it will skip over that code um, based on certain parameters. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a little bit. All right, repetition statement. A repetition statement is also called a loop. You're going to hear that word a lot, a loop. And a loop just means that it, the computer program is going to run the same code over and over and over again until something happens, until you no know, a parameter is met and the loop ends. A logic error, and a logic error in programming is when something unexpected happens and or you get some kind of undesired, um, undesired results. So the computer might run okay, but it's not doing what you want it to do. So there's some kind of a logic error that we need to find. And debugging, that just means fixing some kind of a problem within the code and it's actually not letting you run the program. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next page. All right, so now we are at Unit 2, Lesson 1.1. <coughs> All right, and so for this uh, section right here, what I want you all to do is to watch you, I want you all to watch this video right here, What Most Schools Don't Teach. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and watch this video right here. 